how do we locate places using maps, especially places that we don't know? To answer this question, we have to learn about latitude and longitude. If you notice, there are two types of lines in the globe. Vertical lines are lines that go straight up and down, while horizontal lines are lines which runs left and right or right to left. The horizontal lines are what we call the latitude. Lines of latitude extend east and west across the earth. These lines are imaginary and are called parallels and define a full circle on the surface of the earth. Latitude is measured both north and south from the equator and is measured in degrees. The equator is at zero degree latitude. It splits into two hemispheres, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. It is at the center between north and south. North Pole is located at 90 degrees north, while South Pole is located at 90 degrees south. Northern Hemisphere is an area located from above the equator, which is 0 degree latitude, up to the North Pole, which is 90 degrees latitude. While Southern Hemisphere is an area located below the equator up to the South Pole, which is 90 degrees. These are the five major latitudes with special names. Equator is at 0 degree. Tropic of Cancer is at 23.5 degrees north, while the Tropic of Capricorn is at 23.5 degrees south. Above the Tropic of Cancer is the Arctic Circle is at 60.5 degrees north, and the Antarctic Circle is at 60.5 degrees south. Again, the five latitudes with special names are Equator, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, and Antarctic Circle. Aside from the horizontal lines, there are also vertical lines, which are also called longitude. Lines of longitude or meridians as they are also called, extend north and south and do not encircle the whole planet. We cannot actually see a longitude line on the Earth. They are imaginary. The starting point for longitude is the prime meridian, which is at longitude zero degree or at Greenwich, London, United Kingdom. Longitude is measured in degrees from the prime meridian. Lines of longitude are evenly spaced at the equator but meet at the poles. Lines of longitude are numbered east from the prime meridian to the 180 degree line and west from the prime meridian to the 180 degree line. To the right of the prime meridian is the eastern hemisphere, written as 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, and up to 180 degrees. To the left or the western hemisphere, the longitude is written as 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, and up to 180 degrees west. As you can see, the primary line is the reference line in determining the longitude and the basis for understanding whether a certain place is found in Eastern Hemisphere or Western Hemisphere. The location of a certain place can be described using latitude and longitude. 
the intersection point between the latitude and longitude of a certain place to find its location is called coordinate. In this map, the intersection point that is near to 15 degrees north and 120 degrees east is Zambales, as well as 15 degrees north and 115 degrees east where the South China Sea is found. And also in the latitude of 13 degrees north and longitude 124 degrees east where the Pacific Ocean is found. Using a tracking chart, the approximate coordinate of Cagayan de Oro City is 8 degrees north and 124 degrees east. Then, the city that is found in the coordinate 8 degrees north and 123 degrees east is the Uzamis City. Let's try to locate the Philippines using the Asian map. The approximate coordinate of the Philippines is 12 degrees north and 122 degrees east. The basis in locating the Philippines is the intersection of the coordinate 12 degrees north and 122 degrees east. Based on the coordinates of the Philippines, Philippines belong to the Northern Hemisphere. Another example, the body of water that is found at 12 degrees north and 64 degrees east is the Arabian Sea. To sum it up, places on Earth may be located using coordinate system. Geographic coordinates are based on latitude and longitude, which are given as an angular measurement in degrees. Latitude is an imaginary line that extends east and west across the Earth. The equator, which is zero degree latitude, splits into two hemispheres. Above the equator is the northern hemisphere and below the equator is the southern hemisphere. Longitude or meridians extend north and south. The prime meridian which is zero degree longitude and 180 degree line split into two hemispheres. The western hemisphere and Eastern Hemisphere. Thanks for watching and congratulations! You have completed this episode. Goodbye and keep safe everyone. Bye!